Okay guys, so welcome back to Spicy Sauce. Today something a little different. Uh, this video is going to be in English language. Uh, for those of you who, uh, who are going to be confused about this, um, I want to make the following video available to a wider audience and so this is in English. Um, what I got here in the mail today is the Dellen clip, um, which is an alternative to Trek IR. For those of you who don't know what Trek IR is, this is basically a head tracking system uh, for simulation games for the PC. And this Trek IR is very expensive. The newest version of it costs around 150 euro here in Europe or in Germany to be particular. And uh, this is a little bit too expensive for me and I searched for a, a cheaper alternative and this means that I found this and this is the Dellen clip from Dellen Engineering. I'm gonna unbox this for you with one hand. I'm not particularly good at this but we will see what we got. Okay so first we have of course the cable, the USB cable and the modified PS3i camera. This is used for the head tracking and it only picks up um, IR signals. So it's not uh, usable as a normal camera anymore. It's usable only for IR tracking. And this is what this basically does. And it has the same technical details like the Track IR5. For example, 100 20 frames per second and also the same resolution as the track IR system. So the input is basically the same. Okay, and we also got let me see. This is the actual clip which goes to your headset. And as you can see, this is made from metal. This is uh, yeah, cut out from metal, it's solid. You can hear this <laughs> and it's basically way better than the flimsy Trek IR uh, shit which you got because uh, only the clip from Trek IR costs around like I don't know 30, 40 euro or something and this is way more solid and uh, not so easily to break. And this is really nice, I think. In the front you can see the three uh, infrared LEDs. Uh, and the little assembly here on the, on the top to, to uh, put it onto your headset. So, what I'm gonna do... Oh, okay. And, of course, a few uh, little things to put this onto your headset. In case you don't want to use uh, duct tape or something. <laughs> um, yeah, I will use this. And I will assemble this to my headset and then we will see um, how this works. I also want to um, make sure that you can see how the, set, how the setup process works. I will use the um, FreeTrack software for this or FaceTrack No IR. This is a software in particular for me of choice because I already set up all the curves and axes for this. Uh, and one little downside is that you need, for this camera, that you need another driver. And the company who is yeah, programming these drivers, um, is, is yeah they are selling these drivers for like two bucks. So you have to go on PayPal and send them uh, two uh, dollars, I think, uh, for, the, for the driver. And only then it will work. Um, this is a little downside, but okay, uh, if you already spent this. Oh, by the way, this costs, uh, I don't know, I, rem I can't remember exactly, I think 37 pounds or something like this. Um, so with shipping around 50 or a little bit less than 50 uh, euro for me. So um, this is way, way cheaper than the Trek IR system and I think it will work. <laughs> Let's bear with me and I will set this up and I, then I will show you if it really works or if it doesn't. Be back soon. Okay guys, uh, now I have 
uh, set up everything and I have already created profiles for the different games I play. For example, War Thunder, Battle of Stalingrad, Cliffs of Dover and of course DCS. I will quickly show you the settings uh, for an example on War Thunder, but it could be or very well be that you have different settings that I will use because you will feel different about the head movings or about the smoothing or anything in general. So uh, let's start off with the smoothing factor here. Uh, it's set to around 20. Uh, which leads to uh, yeah, a kind of a balance between the speed uh, which your in-game head moves and the smoothing of all your movements. Uh, this is pretty much okay. Here in the settings I have changed nothing here and for the camera settings I have the threshold all around in the middle and the camera pitch to negative 5 degrees. Uh, this is because I have set up my camera so that it is on yeah, or sitting on top of my screen and of course I am not on the same height with uh, the top end of the screen and so it's pointing a little bit downwards which leads to the minus five degrees. I just estimated this. Um, yeah, The resolution is the same as track IR, 320 times 240. You can set it higher, it's no problem, but it's enough and it leads to um, lesser uh, CPU usage. And also the FPS is set to 99. You can't go higher in this software. You can go higher though in free track or open track, I mean. It, but it doesn't really make the difference of if, I, if you use uh, 99 degrees or just 120. It's basically really the same. Um, okay, the game protocol is FreeTrack 2.0. You can also choose different stuff, for example, for Flight Simulator X and FreeTrack and Flight Gear and older Flight Simulator games, but FreeTrack is pretty much okay for all the games. For DCS, uh, though, you need a headtracker.dll file, which you have to put into the binary or bin directory of DCS. This, is, this can be found uh, in the internet, just Google it, uh, it's no problem, you have it in like three minutes and then you can also use this software and every other free track software in DCS. Okay, um, we will now enable the, the head tracker and on the left you can see that uh, it extrapolates the infrared LEDs just as tracker R would do. And if I move my head to the left, you see on the top here, it's also the corresponding movement to the top, to the bottom, left, right, upwards. It's, so it's responding really, really fast uh, with these settings. I'm really happy with this. And I've also just loaded up War Thunder, uh, like I said, just for an example, because why not? And so we are in the P47 here, and I will unpause this quickly. So yeah, you can look around and it responds really nicely. If you see a little bit pixelated in the video now, it's because of my graphics card. I don't really know what's going on, but uh, yeah, you, I think you can see everything. So you can also lean to the left and to the right to look and do everything and zoom in, of course. I set this uh, up to my joystick, these uh, zoom in and zoom out buttons. So yeah. You have to get used to this first because if you um, played only with the mouse and keyboard and uh, the joystick before and used uh, not this head tracking, tracking software, it's, it's really, um, yeah, what should I say, really yeah, you have to get used to this. <laughs> it's very, very, very different from from what you are used to. But it's really looking nice and it's feeling nice. And it's, of course, a heavy, heavy advantage in combat when you can look and track your enemy. For example, if there in the distance is an enemy and he moves slightly, you can move the plane but also keep track of the enemy at all times. So it's it's really, really easy to do that like to do it like this. Especially in War Thunder with the new Dagua engine, 
um, where you can find and spot enemies way better than before. It's just really, really nice. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, I hope you like this little video and I hope also that I can help you with this. It's like, like I said before, it's also my first video in English. If you want more of this kind of content, um, please leave a comment and a like and I'm happy with it. And I will wish you a nice time and uh, happy new year if you're looking at this or watching the video around uh, New Year's Eve. <laughs> and we will see each other next time. Bye bye.